in today's video we're going to go over nvc time frames on uh, cases document and emails they are working on and also we're going to go over august 2022 visa bulletin board if you something want to know just stay tuned and i'll be right back usa month hello hello my beautiful people this is john from usa modern welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always welcome here my goal is to help newcomers permanent residents and also us and citizens here in the united states of america uh, we talk about different topics mostly i want to the process and uh, sometimes we talk about topics that will help newcomers here in the united states of america like I said in the introduction, today we're going to talk about NVC update on uh, cases, document, and emails they are working on. They update their website every week. And uh, this video is for some of you guys who don't have a chance to check NVC update. And also, we're going to go over uh, the visibility and board of this month. Okay. So, if you are a petitioner, you petition for a relative and your case is already approved by USCIS. And if your relative lives overseas, you know that your uh, relative will come to United States of America on immigrant visa, right? And then your case will move to NVC National Visa Center because your relative lives overseas. In case your relative lives over here in United States of America, well, you don't have to worry about NVC, okay? You just have to actually your relative will adjust his or her status here in the United States of America by filing I-485, which is a green card application. But in case your relative will get an immigrant visa, well, after your case is approved by USCIS, so after 60 days, if you don't receive any notification from NVC National Visa Center, you can call them and you know tell them that okay, your case been approved. It's been 60 days and you didn't receive any welcome letter. So welcome letter is basically the instruction regarding what you're gonna do next. Okay, with the welcome letter, you will see your case number and invoice ID, which you're gonna to use to log into NVC system. So once you log into NVC system, you're gonna pay fees and submit some document. So this week, NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on July 20th. So meaning that some of you guys will receive your welcome letter soon, especially if you are immediate relative. So once you pay the fees, submit document, NVC will review everything. Okay, so you know most of the time, no, I, I shouldn't say most of the time, but now it's taken up to you know, three months on, on for NVC to review your document. So this week they announced on the website that they are reviewing document they received from you guys on May 19. So you know once they review those documents, they you know check the fee that you pay. Everything is correct then you will uh, get a notification from them saying that you are document to qualify and after that all you got to do is to wait for your interview appointment letter and then the third update always is, is regarding inquiries some of you guys have questions uh, you don't know who to ask and uh, you send inquiries to NVC where they are responding to they are responding to inquiries they receive from you guys on on uh, june 2nd that's what they say june 2nd so make sure you check your inbox uh, to see if you receive any notification from nvc national visa sender so guys and like i said at the beginning of this video we're going to check the uh, august uh, 2022 visa bulletin board for date for filing and also uh final action date for some of you guys who are not immediate relative if you're ready let's go in front of my computer Okay, guys, uh, let's talk about family sponsor preferences on uh, uh, bulletin board of August 2022. We're going to talk about F1, F2, F3, and F4 category. Some of you guys uh, who are not, uh, who don't know exactly what those mean, uh, the explanation is right there. You can see F1 is unmarried sons and daughters of a U.S. citizen. Uh, if you are somebody who is on uh, uh, unmarried son of daughter of a U.S. citizen. This is uh, your category F1. We have F2A, uh, which is spouses and children of uh, permanent resident. We have F2B, unmarried sons and daughters, uh, 21 years of age or older of permanent resident. Over here, uh, when they say children, is uh, children under age. Okay. And then we have F3 category, which is uh, married sons and daughters of a u.s citizen and f4 which is brothers and sisters of adult u.s citizens okay so we're going to talk about uh date for filing like i said and also final action date so let's start with the date for filing this is the board for date for filing for 
on August on 2022 okay so you know I repeat this one every month some of you guys who are not if you are not from China mainland okay mainland born if you are not from this right here uh, China mainland born you are not from India you are not from Mexico you are not from Philippines in uh, if you're in category f1 f2 f3 and f4 you have to look at this column right here that's all you have to pay attention to okay if you are not from here here from this country this country this country and this one all you gotta do pay attention here so if you are f1 category here okay f1 category you have to pay attention to this one right here okay you are f2 category pay attention to this one right here f2 b you gotta pay attention to this f3 pay attention to this column this uh, date right here and then f4 pay attention to this date okay these are cut off date that's all you're gonna pay attention to okay but in case you are from china mainland born you have to pay attention to if you are f1 for example pay attention to this day if you are F2 category, they're all occurring. Pay attention to this one. If you are F2B from China, this one. Okay, F F3, this one. And then F4, this one. From India, this is your call of date. Okay, so meaning that every priority date before this date oh, is current. So you're going to get a notification from NVC because this board right here is for some of you guys who are waiting for a welcome letter. Okay, if you're from Mexico, F1 this is your date okay F2A is uh, current across the board so if you want F2B this is your date F3 this is it right here F4 this is it if you're from Philippines F1 this is your cut off date okay make sure your priority date is before this date if it's before this date just be patient if you still don't get notification from NVC call them F uh, not call them but send them a notification um, on an email like an inquiry through the public inquiry form because you cannot call them anymore f2b this is the day you have to pay attention to if you're from philippine f3 this is the day then f4 this is the day now we're going to move to the final action date so this is the final action date both of uh, this month so again uh, this one is for some of you guys who are waiting for your interview appointment later okay so if you are not from china mainland born okay you are not from this country you are not from india you are not from mexico you are not from philippines again you have to pay attention to this column right here that's all you need okay some of you guys just keep saying that you're getting confused you don't know exactly how to read the chart so if you are an f1 category you are not from these four countries this is your cut off date right here f4 category f1 category the f2a is current if you are an f2b category okay this is it right here f3 this is the date f4 this is the day make sure your priority date is before this day if your priority date is before this day for example this one is on september 22nd 2015 if for example your priority date is on august 1st on 2015 it means that it's on uh, it, uh, current okay you get a notification from nvc so if you are from china mainland born you are in f1 category this is your date right here your cutoff date um it's current over here okay and then uh, if you are in uh, it's current for f2a if you are in f2b category this is the date you're going to pay attention to f3 this is the date f4 this is the date from india from india and in, you are in f1 category check you have to pay attention to this color of date f2a is current okay f2b this is the date f3 the date right here you are you have to pay attention to and therefore this is right here for mexico mexico is not current so if you're an f1 category this is the date but f2a is not current you have to pay attention to this date right here and then uh, f2b this is it right here the cut off date f3 this is the date you're going to pay attention to f4 this is it and for philippine f1 category this is your day right here and uh, f2a is current f2b this is the date f3 this is it right here the date your color of date and the f4 category this is your color of date that's how you read a chart so basically those are the update they have all regarding the chart i didn't compare it to uh, the one from last month and see if they move up or or they you know 
bring it down a little bit i didn't check that but if you've been paying attention you notice if they're going up or or not okay so guys if you have uh, any questions just let me know in the description below i will do my best to answer those that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it. if you know somebody you think will benefit from this video all you gotta do is to share with that person if you like the video click on the like button if you want to be notified every time i have a new video click on the bell if you want to subscribe to this channel be part of this usa month family all you gotta do is to click on the subscribe button once again my name is john thanks for watching and i talk to you guys in another video usa month